Hi, Elaine here. Today I'll be showing you how to use a great free app to quickly and easily make a Sierra boot disk for your Mac. It's always a good plan to be prepared for disaster, and never more so than when it comes to your computer. And step one of that is creating an emergency boot disk for your Mac. There are several ways to make a boot disk, but using DiskMaker X is one of the most hands-off, for which read, terminal free, ways to do it. And that's the way I'll be showing you today. As with previous versions of OS X since Lion in 2011, Mac OS Sierra is available only as a download from the Mac App Store. It's a free update, so it's simply a matter of downloading it from the store. It'll be downloaded to your Applications folder and automatically run from there. Now, there's one thing to be aware of, though. As soon as it's installed from within the Applications folder, it will be deleted. Unceremoniously and without warning, it will just disappear. You can re-download it, but that takes time and bandwidth. So, you have a couple of options. One, you could stop the automatic install and make a boot disk before it gets deleted. Or two, and better still, make a copy of the installer in another location for future use. DiskMakerX is available from DiskMakerX.com. It's a free app, although they do accept donations should you find it useful. So download and install it and you'll be good to follow along. So with the Mac OS Sierra installer downloaded and DiskMakerX installed, we're ready to roll. Run DiskMaker and the first option informs you that DiskMaker supports the creation of boot disks for three different versions of OS X. Yosemite 10.10, El Capitan 10.11 and Mac OS Sierra 10.12. So choose Mac OS Sierra. DiskMaker X makes an attempt to locate the installer. I've moved my copy to the desktop so we can actually see it. And DiskMaker finds it in that location. If DiskMaker can't find the installer or you just want to use a different version from the one that it does locate, then use the Use Another Copy button and select the installer that you want to use. Here though, it has found the copy on the desktop and that's the one I want to use. So I'll just click the Use This Copy button. The next step is to select the drive or the device to be used as the basis of the installer. Now, not all USB sticks are equal by which I mean some are unable to be used to boot a computer. If you have a problem with the boot disk that you've created, the easiest way to try and fix it is to use a different USB stick. You do have other options, as this dialog box mentions. The Use Another Kind of Disk option will enable you to select a different type of disk entirely. And what it's referring to is taking a larger disk and partitioning it and installing different OS X versions to each partition. It's the kind of thing a geek does. And yes, I have one of those types of hard drives too. But I'll select the 8 gig USB thumb drive option. And now it wants me to actually select the disk that I want to use as the boot disk. DiskMaker will display all the disks it finds, and you just need to select the one you want to use. Mine is actually called USB 8 gig pen drive. So I'm going to choose that disk. A rather scary dialog box is next, warning you that the disk that you've selected in the previous step is about to be erased. Confirm this is the correct disk, and it's simply a matter of clicking the Erase then Create the Disk button and waiting for the process to complete. One final warning informs you to expect to be prompted to enter your administrator password. So you need to click Continue, and DiskMaker starts copying files. This can take a while, depends on the speed of the machine and the speed of the drive that you've selected. And here's that administrator password prompt, so I'll enter my password. And then DiskMaker starts copying files. This can take a while, it's going to depend on the speed of your machine and the speed of the drive that you've selected. For me with a USB 2 drive, it took about 20 to 25 minutes. When the copying is complete, the installer is displayed in the Finder window. Don't miss the rather alarming notification when the job finishes. I know I didn't, and it was rather alarming, as I wasn't expecting it. Are you ready? Yes, that's the indication from DiskMaker that you're done. It's not a complicated process to undertake manually, but you might as well save any time you can. All the better spent to investigate the new options available in macOS Sierra. So let's recap. You will need to download macOS Sierra from the Mac App Store and then make a copy of the installer. Leave that second copy somewhere safe. 
Download and install DiskMaker from DiskMakerX.com. Make your boot disk. And it's always a good idea to check your boot disk works by actually booting to it. You don't want the first time you find out it's not working properly to be when you need it. Well, I hope that helps you. And if you want new tutorials and tips and tricks on a regular basis, check out my free training at elainegiles.com slash VIP. If you enjoyed this video, then give it a thumbs up. And I always appreciate it when you share it with your friends. If you have any requests for specific tutorials, be sure to contact me. I would love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.